Started with the ball in the second half, coach, but uh, didn't get anything going. And then you mentioned that they had to make a change at quarterback, and Johnson comes in. Uh, eventually, this is still Bevel, I guess, at quarterback at this point, but may have been injured on that play, actually. And then they end up punting and tried to fake it and actually had a good look at it. But, boy, great recognition by Jarrell McKnight out there batting the ball away. Well, that was a huge play yeah, because we were bringing pressure from the corner. And uh, Jarrell was supposed to pop out, and he did. And he did his job and did it well. And now you're going to start to see the emergence of the ground game. We got on a short field. We wanted to see if they could handle the, the run. And obviously, they struggled a little bit. Uh, Terrence Bobo, the junior from Atkins, who scored the last touchdown uh, before the half. Uh, and again, opens up some one-on-one -on -one situations. And there's junior Jesse Grandy. Haven't seen him in the end zone the last few weeks. That was a huge play for us. Yeah, I mean, we've seen you guys throw the jump ball to Brett Soft and to Kroom and to Lewis, your big guys. You go to the the mighty might out of Dollarway right there, and he comes down with the ball for a, a score. And Nathan Dick has certainly had better numbers, but three touchdowns, including that one on the night. And I know this is the only play you mentioned this earlier, kind of alluded to it. The only one that really bothered you, Frank's leaking out there, but a good job of chasing him down. Yeah, Brett Soff, uh, the junior from Wichita, Kansas, you know, plays receiver for us, had a big touchdown catch last week. Really did a good job of extending, uh, you know, the, uh, getting him on the ground and, and not letting him get in the end zone. And then our defense goes to work. Uh, short uh, third down conversion here. The backup quarterbacks in the game. And Jeremy Johnson, redshirt freshman, and boy, he is a, a really good athlete. You know, just a great break on the ball there by, by Love and caught a, caught a mild cramp. And then uh, we we're able to get a great push. I'm not sure who got it. Um, but then a great job by uh, Jarrell McKnight. And once again, you can see our guys. They have that look in their eye. They lower those pads and they're trying to get positive yards. Huge play and special teams play in this game. Well, we got to get north south here. Senior uh, TJ Adams coming back to Texas uh, from Beckville. There was a hold on that thing, I think. Yeah, so you know, this, anyway. yeah this, uh, we're in bad field position here. We had a couple penalties. Um, you know, we're just trying to get it out. Dominique Kroom, uh, once again, on, on, on a short uh, on a short throw and catch. We came up two yards short, uh, fourth and two, and, and the penalties is what hurt us. And uh, again, punting against the wind was, uh, was difficult. This is Johnson, and he takes off right here, and you can see why he is such an impressive athlete. Takes off. He's a West Virginia transfer, so you know what kind of athlete he is. He wanted to come back home, and I know uh, Bear fans and probably your coaching staff wishes he had stayed at West Virginia, but a good touchdown run for him, and we'll see much more of him the next couple seasons. 55 yards, ties it at 24, but again, no panic, no worry. Just do what you guys do, and that, that power running attack continuing. And, the fun thing is, I'm sure for you as a play caller, is that when you got that going, that part of the game, you can really open up a lot of the things of play action. Well, and we're changing the tempos here. We're going a hurry up tempo. We're forcing him to get lined up. And again, here's a play action. We fake the, we fake the zone. We fake the reverse to, to steal and hit a wide open Al Lasker, the freshman. Um, he scored uh, twice on this, and uh, you know I think about four times he's made big plays. Has it ever worked that well in practice? I mean, that's about as good as it gets, yeah, isn't it? it, it uh, it's a play that we work on, and, and uh, certainly you can see one of our five sacks, Jermaine Lett, the senior from, from Goche. Uh, excellent, excellent blitz call here. We bring in the corner fire. We're able to, uh, uh, to stop the quarterback run. Again, uh, this time we've got him contained and hemmed up. And there's Matt Hornbuckle, uh, the sophomore from Colleyville. We had 35 Texans come back to their home state. You know, right here on first down, we've got the wind at the beginning of the fourth quarter and um, interference call. We went big ball and um, quick 15 yards. Nathan Dick buying himself some time here, rolling right. And, Great uh, catch by Al Lasker. Yeah, scooped uh, it up. Yep, absolutely. And uh, come with the speed sweep on third down. Well, was this a great play and what well, a great, great finish. run. Yeah, great yeah. finish, great run. And, uh, and that was the, the yard line to make was the 40 to get the first down. He fights forward to get it. Look at the movement by the offensive line, the tight ends. Chris McKnight, our, our senior fullback from Mayflower. Once again, nice cut by, by Terrence Bobo. And then uh, again, those play action pass opportunities. You know, senior Chris McKnight from, from Mayflower, Arkansas, his second career catch, none bigger, first down on the plus side of the field. More power running attack, more Bobo. Well, you know, again, we've talked about different ways to win. And uh, again, we're able to chew up a lot of clock, change the field position. Uh, we pooch punt it down uh, to the 15 yard line, 14 yard line. We've created a long field now for uh, for Lamar. And, you know, relentless pressure forced him out out to the left. 
They brought Bevel back in. Obviously, yep. he wasn't 100 percent. And boy, great read by Justin Love. And I thought it was funny, a little inside from the sideline. I know he had some guys yelling to get Justin Love down on the ground, but that's not his style. He'd rather just run it back for a touchdown. The fifth defensive score for your defense this year. And we've talked about them giving up some yards. But boy, they are opportunistic when they get chances. Well, you know, we won the turnover battle again tonight, three or four to one. And uh, uh, you can see here our, our integrity uh, on our on our coverage lanes much better. Uh, Zach Bush from uh, from Geyer, uh, Denton, uh, Denton, Texas, and then uh, Al Lasker, one of our receivers. Good sure tackle there by by Seth Allison. Ah, one of the missed tackles. I thought Desmond Wilcox, the junior from Beaumont, coming back home. Played very physical, made some really nice tackles. That was his one missed tackle of the night. And again, you know, we're somewhat of a prevent defense up by, by a couple of scores. But once again, we force a fumble, uh, recovered by the Bears. And you can see all the silver hats. Uh, there's uh, Larry Duvall, the, uh, the junior from Mariana, and the best play in college football, the victory formation. It sure is fun. And that was Hayes. You know, Hayes had been a, a real worry for you guys coming in. He had an unbelievable season coming in. And, Kept them pretty quiet, had one big catch at the far end of the field, and then that one late and forced the fumble on him. So, I mean, uh, again, pretty good job identifying their number one guy and kind of keeping him under wraps for the better part of the day. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh, one and 80 were scary looking cats. Yeah. And, uh, you know, one, I think they're both seniors. And, uh, and uh, you know, they were down a couple of linebackers, and I think that helped us in our run game. But uh, very proud of the way all three phases contributed uh, once again to a big win on the road. And, they're precious. All right. Well, let's uh, take a look at our Sonic play of the game now, and we go back to that play to Terrence Bobo, and it looked, you know, Sully said in the booth, kind of an innocuous play. Looks like you might pick up five, six yards. The next thing you know, it's 51, and it's a touchdown for you guys. What well, was the what Well, was the it was a double there? screen, yeah. and uh, Dick got scared a little bit, uh, flushed away from Bobo as the primary read. He came back. That screen was covered, and he came back to Terrence, and a couple downfield blocks. Dominique Kroon, the junior, had a big block, and then, of course, Terrence did a real nice job of running and, and finishing the run. Nice having a senior quarterback that's willing to go through and come back, huh? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. He's very confident, uh, and uh, he's making a lot of good decisions for us. All right, well, let's go ahead and take a break. When we come back, we'll take a look at our AT&T players of the game and our log cabin stat of the game. Stay with us. You know, definitely, it's been a great year so far. You know, our receivers go out there every time making big-time plays for us, you know. You know, I don't always have to put it in the right spot because, you know, having the, great, having the great receivers they are, they go up and get it. You know, and the thing about it, though, when we put our twos in the game, too, our twos are like our ones and our threes, too. I mean, we have so much depth at receivers. It's like it's, most schools would be lucky to, just to have, like, you know, one or two depth. We have, you know, th three and four depth, you know. But it's been a great year, and the receivers are doing great things for us, and uh, we're just looking forward to keep, on, keep it going. That's a wonderful experience, you know, playing as a freshman, coming in, meeting a lot of people, and just excited to be here at this school. It's just a blessing, you know, everyone has confidence in us to make the catch, and we have to make a play for our team at times. Uh, it's, just, it's just do or die time, and um, my number is called, and when my number is called, I just go out there and try to make a play the best of my abilities. I just like to, I like to jump and um, use my legs and use my jumping abilities to go up and make a catch. I, feel just, I just feel like when the ball is thrown to me in there, then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come down with it. You know, I've, I've completely, I have 100% confidence in, I mean, uh, man on, when it's man coverage, you know, I just, I believe my guy's going to win no matter what, because I believe the receivers, uh, my receivers are going to outdo the D-backs no matter what it takes and out jump them, or, you know, they're going to run a great route and have great hands, you know, so it's just my, it's my position just to give them a chance, and most of the time, basically all the time this year, they, they, they've won up making good plays on the ball. I'm all about team. I, I want my team to win, so I'm going to do whatever it takes for my team to win, even if I had to, you know, play center, block somebody at guard, turn around and play defense, whatever the team needs, that's what we're going to do. Um, we're just going to uh, carry the team, you know, uh, as much as we can, just do all that we can to help uh, move us forward and keep us relevant in the uh, playoff run and just do everything we can, catch, catch everything thrown to us, make blocks whenever, do whatever it takes to get the win. It's a real tight bond that we have. You know, we see each other every day. We're constantly working with each other. We're playing around with each other. It's like a family in the wide receiver room. Welcome back. Time now to take a look at our AT&T players of the game, and we're going to go multiple players on offense, coach, the offensive line, and you, you stressed how great or how, how much better the offense had done as far as running the ball the last couple weeks, continued this weekend was a big key. Absolutely. 168 yards rushing uh, net, uh, no sacks on Dick. Um, I just thought the tight ends, the offensive line, our fullbacks did a super job. So that core of six or seven O-line tight ends and, 
and fullback uh, players of the game on offense. I can't wait for you to hear the highlight of the Justin Love interception. Sully called his shot before he actually made the play, but he's going to be our defensive player of the game, and he certainly had a great stat line. Yeah, 9, 10 total tackles. He had an interception return for a touchdown that we just saw. He had a pass breakup, and, um, you know, just, again, very physical, ball-hawking uh, Young man, a sophomore from West Memphis, is an impact player for us on defense. I'm glad you got him two more years, too. Log cabin stat of the game is on the defensive side of things as well. Five sacks in the ball game, and they've done a great job the last few weeks. Yeah, absolutely. We were able to create some pressure. I thought Coach Williamson dialed up some pressure, and then we had some one-on-one -on -one wins as well. So five sacks, uh, and, and, of course, we gave up none, even though Dick was harassed a little bit, but he did a nice job of pulling it down and making positive plays. It was homecoming here in Beaumont, Texas. It is homecoming in Conway next week, Coach, and I know you'd love to have a big crowd out for southeastern Louisiana. Six o'clock kick, and need to have that support for the folks in purple and gray. Well, it's a huge game. We need our students to come out. Yeah. I mean, their student support here was phenomenal, harassing us the entire game. We need our alumni, need our fan base, uh, the community of Conway to come out. Uh, this is a huge football game as we continue to fight our way back uh, in the conference race and, and some other considerations. And this is an extremely talented Southeast Louisiana football team. We need to pack Estes Stadium and put the fear into the stripes this Saturday when we play Southeastern. I like it. Well, good luck this week. Appreciate it. Certainly a big one. Bears looking for their fifth conference win of the 2011 season. Hope to have you out there for the game and hope to have you back with us next week on the Central Arkansas Football Report. The Clint Conk Radio Show with host Justin Acre is on Thursdays at 7 p.m. at JJ's Grill in Conway on 103.7 The Buzz. Stick around after the show to catch Thursday Night Football on JJ's 110-inch HD screen. And remember to come out for JJ's Big Fat Greek Call-In Show Challenge.